Hi, what is going on? I'm Styler and in this video I will review the 5.5 inch Bluebo X550 from Gearbest.com, a monster battery phone. It has the 64-bit MTK6735 quad-core SoC, 2GB RAM, 16GB ROM, Android 5.1 out of the box. It has support for 4G LTE and USB on the go. It has a 5.5 inch HD IPS display, 8 megapixel rear camera and 2 megapixel front camera and a very huge 5300 mAh battery. Let us have a quick look what you actually get with the phone. So let's see here, you get here the USB cable, micro USB. And uh, you get here the wall charger and this here is a quick charger. Let's see the specifications here. So we see this is a 5 volt 2 ampere. Then you also get here a power adapter. You get here the USB on the go cable. And we also have here a screen protector. Let's have a look at the design and uh, the phone looks really nice. So here in the top we will actually find a, a notification LED in red. So it only supports red color, there are no uh, multicolors in this one here, but at least there is one. And uh, we have here the ear speaker together with the proximity sensor and light sensor. We have here the 5.5 inch HD display. We find below here the touch buttons, but these are only painted in silver. As you can see, th these have no kind of backlight. On the side here we find here a small silver frame here. And uh, on the back side here we have here the 8 megapixel rear camera. Actually this is interpolated to 13 megapixels. And we have here the LED flash. We see the blue bow logo here. We have here a matte finish on the back side so it's not slippery when you hold it. We have here something that looks like dual speakers but in fact sound will only come out of the right side we have here the ce logo and fcc overall a really nice phone let's see on this side we have absolute nothing so here in the bottom we find only the microphone on this side here we have the power button together with the volume rocker in the top we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack together with the micro usb port Okay, and let me just turn it around 360 degree. And uh, let us have a look inside the back. So here we have the back cover here in plastic here. Inside here we will find the IMEI numbers 1 and 2. We have here the model number. We see support 4G. We see the band mode supported. And uh, we also below here see the battery capacity on 5300 mAh so the battery here is really huge and uh, you can't um, remove the battery it's built in we see the speaker here in the right side in the top we find the, the sim trays it's a dual sim so we have support for micro sim and normal sim and also for tf cards here micro sd cards and then uh, now let us boot up the phone and we see here the Blue Bow logo. Okay, so here now we see the lock screen and uh, you can see it looks a little bit different than the stock Lollipop lock screen. We can swipe here to unlock, go to the SMS or to the phone dialer. Let's just unlock. Okay, so here you see the UI and let us scroll a little bit here. So it's smooth and nice. Let's see in the app drawer, the same here. And uh, I already installed a lot of test apps in a game as you can see. Overall a smooth interface UI here. So um, we see here the colors and the resolution is pretty good. Let's just get a little bit closer, let me focus here, very nice. And um, we also have the buttons here, you see there is no kind of backlight here, but there will be a notification LED here in the top. And in fact, let us just test it out. 
so you can see it here. And uh, the phone also supports the double tap to wake and off screen gestures. See it here. Let's try here. Oh, you can see it's really fast to open up the camera. But you can also unlock by waving your hand just over the proximity sensor. Gesture unlock. And uh, let's have a look here on the reception and network. So you can see the Wi-Fi here is in top. The Wi-Fi is really good on this phone here. And the network is also very decent. And uh, right now I'm on 3G network as you can see here. But uh, the phone of course also support 4G. Let's have a look here in the quick toggles. So you see these here. Okay, so here are the settings. We see all the normal settings we have here hot knot so this is an alternative to nfc we have dual sim we have display so uh, this phone here has support for mirror vision so inside here you can tweak the colors here the picture mode here to standard or vivid or user mode you can also change the contrast and so on so that's nice to have and uh, below here we also see the possibility to calibrate the sensors we have the storage let's have a look so you can set the preferred uh, install location we have here the phone storage and this one here is on about four gigabyte let's see we have the rest here in the phone storage 8.5 gigabyte and of course it also support uh, micro sd cards what we see here is actually for the USB on the go, if you connect external USB storage. And let's have a look inside the RAM usage. So you see here only 290 megabyte is used. We still have 1.4 gigabyte free of RAM. Totally it has 2 gigabyte of RAM, so that's good. We have a language and input, so the phone is multi-language and nearly all languages are supported. Then we find here the accessibility. So inside here we find the smart wake settings here. So you can here double tap to wake, slide up to, to unlock directly. You can here draw and C to start the phone dialer. You can draw M for music player and so on. Different off-screen gestures. And we find here the developer options in about phone. Let's see here in about. We see the build number. And uh, it also supports wireless update. So uh, right now I'm using the build from uh, June. You see 2nd June here 2015. So this one here is the latest build. And uh, actually when I got the phone, the firmware on the phone uh, was using another kind of DPI, I think, because everything was very tiny and small on the screen, uh, almost like a, on a tablet. But uh, they fixed this with the newest uh, uh, ROM here, so that's really good to see. And so far this ROM here runs perfect. Let's just check here, the lollipop. Okay. And next up, let's have a look inside the camera. And uh, of course, for high resolution samples, I will provide some uh, below in the video description. So please have a look there. Let's see here. So you can see the autofocus is working. Yeah. Let's have a look on the sample. You can see looks nice and sharp. It's good. Back here and let's see we have here the settings. Find here 13 megapixel interpolated. The real megapixels are only 8 megapixel in fact. Let's see on some camera samples I made here you can see very good sharpness and details are good and uh, regarding the front-facing camera 
the front facing has uh, no kind of uh, autofocus so uh, in distance it's okay but if you get too close uh, it gets a bit blurry but um, for selfies it's okay so uh, one thing i have to tell you about the phone is about the cpu and uh, in fact let's just have a look here inside the app uh, aida 64 and let's see on the cpu let's have a closer look we see it's the mtk 6735 but uh, we also notice here in the cpu clock range that it only goes to one uh, gigahertz 1000 megahertz here and uh, because of that um, the anti-2 score is actually not that high on this phone uh, the phone runs uh, overall very smooth and games also surprisingly uh, runs uh, fast and uh, without any kind of lag at all but um, still the anti-2 score is not more than about 19,000 or 20,000 uh, so it's not a high score but um, it's because of the CPU clock here and uh, I'm not aware uh, if this um, is because I have an early model of the phone or if this is going to be on all the models but uh, it's like that on my model here so you just have to be aware of that it could be that the, the phone only runs with 1 GHz but of course it's a quad core so it's still pretty fast and uh, next up let us test out the flashlight so you see the flashlight here is ok strong gives a lot of light here, it's bright and good and uh, now some information about uh, sound through uh, headphones uh, I'm having here the Xiaomi Piston 2 and uh, the sound is very loud actually with earphones in this phone here and the quality is also good and also it has plenty of bass so um, I can't complain about the sound quality in this uh, model here overall very good and uh, I have here now connected the USB uh, on the GO cable here the OGG cable with a USB stick here and let's see here if it's found so we see here in the file manager external USB storage yeah so this is the USB stick here let's go into other pictures let's check out some pictures here and you can see this is working fine and uh, let us now check out a test call This is the proximity sensor. The number you've dialed is incomplete. Please call the information service. So you can hear it's clear and loud. And uh, as always, remember to check if this phone is supported by your network and carrier before you buy it because uh, it doesn't support 4G um, in the whole world so you can go here to the site willmyphonework.net and here you can actually find the Bluebo model number X550 and you choose your country your carrier and then you can check so for me here in Germany it works great and in the UK it will also work but uh, in the United States the bands are different so um, Unfortunately, 4G will not work in the US, but uh, the phone will still work on 3G and 2G. And uh, let's have a look on the live GPS test. So I run this outside and uh, recorded this so we can have a look. You can see here it's finding the satellites in U6. Now it has a 3D fix here. And you see GLONASS is not supported, only normal satellites the fixed time is six seconds and we can see the accuracy is down to five meters now so i would say it's okay it's average the gps not the best but also not worst i have seen so now i'm going to run some different test apps and a game i will turn up for the background music as always so let's have a look
So we are now in the end of this review and I will now list some of the pros and cons. So first the pros. It comes out of the box with Android 5.1 and uh, there have already been some updates to it so that's really nice to see. It has a small notification LED in red in the top so that's great. The display settings on this phone actually also support Mira Vision, so that's a good thing because with that you can tweak the colors like you want. It has very good battery time between 15 to 16 hours non-stop on-screen time. This is the best I so far have seen on a China phone in this price class. The phone design is simple and nice, nothing fancy. It looks good but because of the big battery it is a little bit thick but uh, it's not too bad. And last, the camera does some decent pictures and you can do 13 megapixel interpolated pictures but don't expect too much from the cameras. And now to the cons. The touch buttons are without any kind of backlight and just painted in silver. The storage is split in two and we have 4GB in the internal storage and 8.5GB in the phone storage. I would rather like to have one big storage for both apps and games. Also it does not have so many sensors built in. The, for example there is no kind of gyroscope and the compass also doesn't seem to work at all. Because of the huge 5300mAh battery, the phone is also pretty heavy and thick, so that's the downside of that. The MTK6735 CPU seems to only be clocked at 1GHz when unchecked, so that's not much. And uh, I'm unsure if this maybe is because I have an early version of the phone, or if all phones are going to be just like that. And uh, because of that the anti-2 score is a bit low, but I must say that the phone overall still runs very good and fast. On the back side it looks like stereo speakers, but in fact the sound is only coming out of the right side, so this is kind of fake, and the sound quality is only average. Well guys, that's it for the review. Remember also to check out my blog, you find the link in the video description. If you have any questions, please comment below. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching. See ya.